Hi guys, and welcome back to another Sonic Academy Tech Tip. Um, this one's going to be pretty simple. Um, what we're going to do is just show you how to create your own uh, custom channel strips. And it's something I find very useful and takes a lot of uh, sort of time out of your production workflow. Again, I'm going through sort of a series of, of workflow um, speed improvement tips here. But um, this one, again, is very simple. And it's basically to do with your, your default audio and your default MIDI tracks. So if you like your tracks to be set up a particular way, you can have it done all the time. So um, for example, um, whenever I'm starting, uh, uh, whenever I'm creating a new audio track, um, I eventually always have a, a sort of EQ8 on it or um, some other EQ if you've got um, a plugin with a, a, a fab filter or something like that there. You can drag that on, um, but with my EQ8, I always like to have the, the oversampling on, or if you're in the live edit, the, the sort of high quality mode. And if there's anything else, such as um, maybe like, uh, let's see, a, a utility. Um, I like to use utility on the track so that whenever I'm automating um, volume in a track, I would always uh, automate the utility rather than the, the track here, um, rather than the actual overall track volume. Um, for the mixing stage so that and whenever we're trying to mix we don't um, have this sort of lane automated we have just the gain control automated so if I have a, a utility loaded and a EQ8 loaded and we've got the oversampling on um, then that, that will be sort of an ideal setup for a, a default track so what we can do then is we go up to um, our audio track once you've loaded whatever it is you like on there and you right click it and just go down to save as default audio track and if it asks you that just hit yes and basically then anytime you add an audio track to your project you'll get the EQ8 and the utility loaded up every time and the same goes for uh, your MIDI track so for example if I go to MIDI and I go again I'll have a, a utility on there and maybe I'll go to my um, MIDI effects and I'll put for example uh, a pitch control and perhaps a um, uh, probably wouldn't have an arpeggiator but that's maybe all you would have on there but again you can put your sort of audio effects so we could have uh, an EQ8 on there too and I would have that in oversampling mode and again I would just go to MIDI and I would right click that save as default MIDI track and then any time that I start a MIDI track up I've already got my pitch utility I'm going to EQ it loaded with the oversampling mode on. Okay, so that's just a quick um, production workflow tip. And I'll see you again then in the next video.